How do you know if your coworker is a bully or maybe just a drama queen or a jerk? Or you know what? Maybe your coworker's just having a bad day. On this episode of Coffee and Conversations About Nurse Bullying, I'm going to answer that question for you. Is my coworker a bully or maybe something else? Hi, my name is Renee Thompson, and welcome to Coffee and Conversations About Nurse Bullying. You know, as an anti-bullying thought leader, I spend the majority of my time helping individuals and organizations eliminate workplace bullying. Almost every day of my life, a nurse reaches out to me for help, and they ask me a lot of questions about how to handle certain things, some different questions about bullying, and so I designed this video series as a way to answer some of those questions for all of you. So this episode's question comes from Jill, who is a nurse in San Diego, California, one of my favorite places. And she asked the question, how do I know if my coworker is a bully? Well, you know, we tend to label all bad behavior as bullying. And by doing that, we're really doing a disservice because not everything is bullying. It could be bullying and civility. It can be something else, somebody just having a bad day. Well, how do you know if it's bullying? For a behavior to be considered bullying, it has to have three primary components. The first one is that there has to be an intended target. That target can be one person or it can be a group of people, okay? But there has to be a target. I just can't be mean to everybody, okay? It has to be a target. The second criteria is there, the behavior has to be harmful in some way, okay? And the third criteria, and this is, I think, the most important, the behavior has to repeat over a period of time. It can't just be one time I get testy with you in a code situation, okay? Although that's not okay, it's not considered bullying. So for it to be bullying, there has to be a target, the behavior has to be harmful, and there, it has to be repeated over time. So that's how you know if your coworker is a bully or something else. And I hope that answered your question, Jill. And for those of you watching, if there's a question that you'd like me to answer in this video series, there's a couple of ways you can do that. Just write your question in the comment section below, or you can contact me on my website, and that is www.rtconnections.com. By the way, I have a ton of resources about how to address bullying behavior on my website. Most of them are free. Just go check it out. And so I encourage you to let me know uh, what questions you have about nurse bullying so I can answer them in this video series. Until our next conversation about nurse bullying, be kind to each other, take care, and stay connected.